Uh, just that um, Walter White and Jesse have statues in Albuquerque. Did you know about that? Bitch. Did you hear about that? They gave them statues. And did you also hear about there's people who don't like it? Because it glorifies meth makers. Good. We should glorify meth makers. Yeah, I think we should put statues of meth makers in every city in the world. It's better than having Confederate statues. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I know what we should do. You know what we should have? We should have a statue of us licking a Bollywood boot. Ooh. <laughs> I'm Rick. Today we got a uh, informational video. This is wh why people risk their lives to make millions of bangles. Bang bang yeah, bangles. Bangles. Bangles on the, um, in uh, India. Yeah. Um, Wait, seriously? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm guessing they'll explain. I had no idea that bangles were created with that potentiality. I didn't know they were created. I thought you just got them from a tree. Here we go. What? <laughs> it takes dozens of people to make a single glass bangle. They're crafted inside blazing hot furnaces. Oh my stars. At those soaring temperatures, the glass is thin like water. And if they are not careful, of course it will. That's why I said, oh my gosh, when he took that out. Workers here face temperatures as high as 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit all day long. Millions of women across India wear such bangles every day. And oh, wow. The city of Firozabad is the biggest manufacturer in the world. Artisans churn out 1.2 million bangles a day at Satya Narayan Glassworks. So why are bangles still made this way? Yeah. And what makes this such a risky business? Tom Cruise. Stupid. Vimal Kumar Yadav has been working at the factory for the last 17 years. It all starts with craftsmen sifting through silica sand, which is the main ingredient for bangles. Then they add in any scraps of leftover glass, like broken bottles. I feel like you should be wearing bangles. a mask. The entire that stuff will get in your lungs. Filled with tiny glass particles. And women are constantly sweeping the broken bangles from the floor. I feel like they should be wearing like these scraps of glass are melted yes. down again. Glasses and masks. recycled to make new bangles. But the glass pieces can damage the workers' vision, even blind them. Yeah. So why don't they wear goggles? And no one here wears a mask. So they're also breathing in the glass dust. Why? A study shows that 23% of bangle workers suffer from chronic bronchitis. Yeah, it's fixable. Next, the mix is melted down in a furnace that reaches 2000 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter. Yeah, but what happens when you get tired? The air is stifling here. Workers keep drinking water to stay hydrated and carry on. After 10 hours, the glass turns into this runny liquid. It's then mixed with color. They contain traces of metals like lead, cadmium, and even mercury. And workers are constantly exposed to those fumes. Craftsmen then move the molten glass to another part of the factory. It's not good this to be exposed to mercury. Dangerous. And Vimal says sometimes accidents happen. Of course they do. Mm. 
Vimal operates this machine that rolls the spirals of the bangles. Oh, wow. That's, That's cool. Too. The bangles are steaming hot when they're removed from this rod. But no one's wearing gloves. Most workers rely on experience to stay safe, according to factory owner Anshul Gupta. At the furnace time, they gave them gloves and safety glasses. They gave them eye protection. They gave them shoes. But they don't have any comfort. When they put the iron rod, they feel like they don't have to slip. They want to slip with their hands. 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 But they don't have to do their work. They want to slip with their hands. Machines could make the job safer, but workers have rejected them in the past. Machine any काम तो कर पाएगी. सभी काम ठंडी वत्ती वाला काम को मशीन उसमें बोल भी नहीं ला पाएगी वत्ती वाला काम. The glass bangle factories of Ferozabad are also major polluters. The city is about 30 miles away from the Taj Mahal. In 2015, authorities said smoke from Ferozabad. Was the main reason the white marble of the Taj was turning yellow? Oh wow, jeez! Many artisans worried that the workshops would be shut down. Instead, the factories were ordered to stop burning coal and use natural gas. Today, 500,000 craftsmen work in the industry in Ferozabad at over a hundred workshops. This is because. इसको स्वाहा नगरी बोला जाता है क्योंकि कांच की चूड़ियां हैं वो स्वाहा का प्रतीक है। Glass bangles are the city's biggest export, bringing in 150 million dollars a year in sales. Women make six dollars a day, toiling away in these small workshops close to the factory. They lay each bangle over a flame. The fire melts the edges and binds the glass together, and the bangle is ready to be decorated. Some of these intricate patterns can take hours to finish. Wow. This craftsman is using a special kind of paint to glue several thin bangles together. A lot of the ornamental work is done at home, often by younger workers who earn very little. Child labor is banned in the factories, but kids still help their families when they can. Sony Yadav is 18 years old. Dali Yadav is 15. They're Vimal's two daughters. After an eight-hour shift, Vimal himself makes about nine dollars a day. He says it's barely enough to put his four children through school. To make a little more cash on the side, Vimal tends to buffaloes. I come from the house, I bring the house, I bring the house, I bring the house. हम और बच्ची भी साथ में देवरे करते हैं मैसों की वैसे तो सही है ऐसी हो दूध चला जाता चार से पांच रुपए का ये पैसा बचता रहता उस कारखाने थे खर्चा चलते रहते हैं। He hopes that one day he can start another milk business. चार आलू मैसी आलू चार आलू मैसी आलू मिलियो चार आलू मैसी आलू Wow. For all the risks involved, the end product is not expensive. ये sound के through हम इसमें कांच की चूड़ियों में जो sound ripped हुई होती है, उसका sound different होता है। A set of twelve bangles can range from one to thirteen dollars, depending on how fancy it is. Should we buy Johnny bangles anywhere though? कि लोगों को लगती है कांच की चूड़ियाँ देखने में सुंदर लगती हैं मगर उसके पीछे की जो सच्चाई है उसके पीछे काफी लोगों का 40 से 50 लोगों का एक चूड़ी बनाने में हाथ होता है। Despite all of the risks, Vimal says the industry is crucial for everyone in Ferozabad. 
We sell all those? Make a million a day. How often do you buy Bengals? I thought they were like, you buy them and... Well, I'm sure, obviously, like, tourists obviously come and, and buy Bengals, obviously. But how often do, like, Indians buy new Bengals? I know, obviously, most Indians have Bengals. What's one billion divided by one million? Oh, I should have done it the other way. Yeah, that's a thousand. Yeah, it's a thousand. So, wow. And that's only one bangle. And they usually have multiples on their hands, right? Yeah. Yeah, they usually have a multiples lot. and they break. And well, I mean, the glass. I, how, but, how durable are they <laughs> if they're glass? And I, I'm pretty sure, like, the majority of women in India wear them. Yeah. It's like all the time, though? Well, or is it like a special occasion? I don't know. I know. I see it all the time, but I didn't know if it was like normally like we, we don't. But this was, this was different than some of the other videos that we've seen where we recognize people where their industry is struggling and they're not making a lot of money. This one is fraught with dangers that yeah. I... That's what it says. Risk their lives. And apparently, if obviously what the video is saying is true, it's the workers yeah. that say if that is true. Um, <laughs> like Just like, no, we don't want... You'd, you'd, you, please protect yourselves, guys. If you yeah. if you work in these factories, you'll say it's, you can say whatever you want about the United States. I don't really give a shit. Obviously, we have plenty of stuff that is bad, but uh, this this factory would get shut down in a second. Oh, you it, you couldn't do what you're doing. No, OSHA would not allow it. Uh, nor should they. Or unions, yeah, because you'd... obviously you, you their their job is to protect the worker, right? From, Cancer from <laughs> ingesting, uh, I like glass uh, particles in your in lungs, your lungs, ingesting stuff in your eyes. Like, there's so many dangers. Liquid here. glass being thrown around, and you could potentially turn and hit somebody with it. I mean, Please. I've worked, I've worked a lot of different jobs that have dangers associated from it. Everything as simple as at FedEx office, we had big press print cutters that could take your hand off to yeah. I've I've worked in material handling where you're on forklifts and you're working around pallet rack and cantilever rack and pallet jacks and scissor lifts and so and I've at FedEx as a courier I, I there was a dude who was pulling some cans off of a, a big 18 wheeler and his legs dropped in between the deck and the 18 wheeler and it snapped both his ankles and he was out for seven months because he broke both his ankles and that's with high level safety precautions so i i just and you'd it you'd, boggles the mind you'd also hope that like if these people do get injuries that obviously that's the the, the employer would be the one that covers i don't but know i have my doubts i don't know and at at, at six dollars a day here that would obviously be <laughs> this this guy would be sued no. to the to the nines for, yeah for what he's put his workers through i'm not saying like this is obviously a different country and i'm not i'm not saying all that but i just know it's just I, I just want people to protect themselves man. It, it is, it's not a judgment it's it's a concern yeah. you know because these this it's people it's beautiful obviously what they're making but it man, really take care is of yourself more than seriously like, yeah you're way more important than a bengal uh <laughs> like and your family needs you more than the bengal yeah and at the same time they're like well it, you don't want to automate this thing because then you eliminate us and then what are we going to do? Yeah. You know, the workers that work in this industry. So it's like, I understand that aspect of it. But There's got to be a happy medium. But obviously they're saying that the workers are the ones that are like, no, I don't want that. Well, change is hard. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah, yeah. change is hard. It's uh, oh, Somebody did for a while ago. Uh, somebody bought um, and they sent them to us. But I just put it on my daughter. She, they bought us Bengals. Aww. And so I put a, a little tiny. That's little, awesome. Little, little tiny, tiny, little tiny baby Bengals. It looked really cute on it. That's adorable. Apparently, it's for like for little kids. It's to wear off the evil eyes. Ah, uh, that's sweet. Um, but yeah, That's she, awesome. She looked really cute in it. Uh, I just hope it wasn't made by some little girl. That would be sad. <laughs> But anyway, let us know what other videos we can react to. And uh, also, how often do you buy Bengals? Yeah. I, I would like to know, like, what, with what frequency do people buy Bengals in India? For yourself? Obviously, you them? it'll depend on your economic uh, situation. Um, but, like, a typical family. Like, how... Do you and how many do you typically have? To, to go a million-something a day? 
That's insane. And that's just in that city. I know. That's why I was doing the math. It's obviously, the export. If you do a million a day, you could give a bangle to everybody in India within three years. Anyways, let us know. Let us know down below. I'm confused. 